Herkese merhaba. Hi. Sneezing or sternutation is something everyone does, including animals. We know that almost all terrestrial or land-dwelling animals sneeze. Even aquatic iguanas sneeze to release salt from their nasal glands, and fish cough and sneeze to clear the clogs in their gills. And according to Bill Milson, who is a comparative physiologist at the University of British Columbia, when dolphins or whales blow water out of their bowl holes before breathing air in, this whole process is essentially a sneeze. Also, in the human literature, the references to sneezing goes back to the ancient Greeks. Aristotle wrote that sneezing is a divine sign which has great significance. Ancient Greek physicians considered sneezing as a method to treat epilepsy, and the Aztec Indians used things like an equocoton, also known as a sneeze plant, to produce violent sneezing and nosebleeds as a remedy to cure headaches that were thought to have been caused by too much blood in the brain. Sneezing is often caused by foreign particles irritating the mucosa in our noses. The immune system orchestrates a local immune response via the release of histamines. These in return irritate the nose nerve cells that send signals to the brain to activate muscles involving the face, the throat and the chest. The result is often a semi-autonomous response from the muscles to contract and create a large force of air expelled from the lungs through the mouth and the nose to expel these irritants. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> the force of the sneeze is said to reach 120 to 160 kilometers per hour. For instance, in the 1940s, researchers said that sneezes can reach up to 166 kilometers per hour with a reach of 60 to 90 centimeters. However, more recently with high-tech cameras, it appears that the initial speed of sneezes is only around 8 to 11 kilometers per hour. Of course, these speeds may vary due to things like the overall health, the measurement techniques of the study, and the size of the person, but it seems like the speed speed and reach of the sneeze is way less than what people commonly believe. Still, it's such a forceful exit. To create such force through the nose, the uvula and soft palate in the back of the mouth elevate to partially close. So the air is directed to the nose. But the sneeze is so powerful that some of the air will typically also escape from the mouth. Since this process relies on muscles, one cannot sneeze during the REM sleep because during deep sleep, the brain blocks the signals coming from and going to most of the muscles. Now let me tell you something pretty interesting. Some individuals like myself have what is called the photic sneeze reflex. So basically, I have a tendency to sneeze when I leave a dark building and there's bright sunlight. Autosomal dominant compelling helioophthalmic outburst syndrome, which basically means if I go from a dark area into somewhere that's brightly lit, you know, like looking at the sun, I will sneeze. <coughs> the exact reason of this is not yet known, but it seems like there is a genetic basis to it. I have a single thymine to cytosine mutation in my chromosome 2 that gives me the photic sneeze reflex. There are a lot of other reasons for why we sneeze. The sinuses may also induce sneezing by sickness and allergies. Some individuals may sneeze as a result of a full stomach known as snatiation. This funny name was adopted after a researcher wrote a comical letter to the editor in the Journal of Medical Genetics. The title read this, Sneezing non-controllably at a time of indulgence of the appetite, a trait inherited and ordained to be named. Others may have a sneezing response in the early stages of sexual arousal, as the nose also contains erectile tissue. I'll take another wild guess. You two had a fling. But you won't move on. Oh, no, no. Keep your fingers off your nose. Men have erectile tissue there. Itches when they're hiding something. Cold air may also induce sneezing, and if you ever visit an eye doctor and they shine their ophthalmoscope in your eyes, you may sneeze too. Some may sneeze even upon waking. Ne oluyor?
Have you ever thought why we say these funny things after someone sneezes? For instance, when Americans sneeze, people usually say bless you. In German, they say Gesundheit, which means health. In Russian, they say be healthy, of course, in their own language. In Spanish, it's salud, again meaning health. But Spanish is a little unique. They say dinero, which means money, after the second sneeze, and amor, which means love, after the third one. The origin of why we say these things is not very clear. Some cultures see sneezing as a good thing, and some see it as a bad thing. Some say that it comes from a Jewish belief that sneezing is a sign that you are dying and a soul is leaving your body. And this is why we say things to wish well for the person who just sneezed but didn't die. Some say we say good things after a sneeze because the sneezing is usually associated with sickness. Some say it is due to a myth that says our heart stops when we sneeze, which is not true. Okay, one last thing. Some people have what is called a sneezing fit. They sneeze multiple times in a row. Bless you. 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 This is nothing more than the nose triggering the signal over and over again. But it can be somewhat problematic for people, for instance when they are driving or using a sharp object such as a knife. But probably none is worse than what happened to Donna Griffiths. She is in the Guinness World Records for having the longest sneezing fit for 976 days. According to the Library of Congress, she sneezed once every minute. All right, so that is all we have for today. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, share, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you would like to support our YouTube adventure, consider donating to us on Patreon. This video is made possible thanks to our patrons, such as Firat Karagus, Chan Erzik, Elif Kush, and Birchu Yaldas. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Hosha Kalun.